abbreviation of Gothic, a darkly romantic, once exclusively underground subculture that has now cast a long, creeping shadow over the mainstream. For these days, its influence can be seen on primetime TV, in the cinema, magazines, fashion, and even amidst the vulgarity of the mall. But what is this strange, dark subculture? This still mysterious, shadowy realm? Who are these individuals that devote their lives to such macabre pageantry? My name is David J. And one could say that I've spent many, many years exploring this subterranean. And now I shall be your guide as we journey deep into the nocturnal labyrinth. What shall we unearth down there? Greetings on Deadheads, welcome to Goth Only Knows. Our first port of call on this voyage is the sepulchral lair of one Thomas J. Kuntz, maker of hexanthrobotic art and various other optical wonders. Thomas's art harkens back to a bygone era when craftsmanship, artistry and alchemy intermingled to bring forth intricate machines of uncanny wonder. Thomas. Pleasure to meet you, sir. Pleased to meet you too, sir. Come on in. Thank you for allowing us this oh. peek into your inner centum. You're more than welcome. In this area, we have the full-size machinery for bigger projects, watchmaking, instrument making mm -hmm. here. And most of this stuff is, is older stuff. Some of it's 1800s, early 1900s, some of it's 1950s. They don't really make this kind of stuff the way they used to. So you do all, all your own machine work? You don't yeah, have assistance? Yeah, I, I've had to because, uh, you know, it's just like everything else I've learned. I, I did it because uh, I couldn't afford it. If you can find secondhand machinery and try and learn it, that's the whole DIY spirit for me. Basically what he does, drops the ball off. But where did it go? Spit it out, Stella. There you go. Boop. Wonderful. There you have it. Looking at your work, it certainly encapsulates the Gothic. I have to blame Forrest Ackerman for that. The famous Monsters magazine. Mm -hmm. As a kid, yeah. I'd see these pictures of these, these movies, but it wasn't until later that I understood what the movements were that developed that style. I think maybe some people see me as like, wow, you know, this guy's really trying to go against the grain and all that. And I, I don't like disposable culture. So in that sense, I hope that whatever I do portrays that. Bar Sinister, housed in the eternal Lost Weekend environs of Borden's Bar in Hollywood, is home to LA's renowned Gothic nightclub. It was started by Trisha LaBelle at the tail end of the last fin de siècle and maintains its status as the leading real deal den of decadence and art firm. Once upon a midnight, I spoke with Miss LaBelle inside the club. Here we are in the center of the action at Bar Sinister and I'm talking with the lovely Trisha LaBelle. To what do you ascribe this amazing success of yours? I, I think because I just keep it evolving with the times. It started out as a vampire club and it's morphed into more realms of kind of vampire, gothic, alternative, rock and roll, electronica, little yeah. spirituality. It's, it's a mix of all alternative walks of life. Also a big part of it, it seems to be the s and &M, &T. Where's my whip? <laughs> That's sadomasochism, bondage and domination, sports fans. Do have any handcuffs at the moment? There's a sense of family in this club. Did you set out to create a, a home for the creatures of the night? I'm passionate about individuals who are open about who they are, and that's what I find fascinating most about the lifestyle of God. Rob Zabrecki is an extraordinary magician. A regular performer at Hollywood's famed Magic Castle, he astonishes audiences with his cunning sleight of hand. It has been said of Zabrecki that like film director David Lynch, he sets the stage for life and then sets it on fire. So, sporting a fire retardant smoking jacket, I decided to speak with Mr. Zabrecki at the castle. Do you still do an act that uh, would appeal to a, a gothic 
audience? I do, and it's difficult to approach that properly because magic in its nature is spooky and dark. I just made a choice about a decision you're going to make in just a moment. It's tricky to have a goth player without going for the obvious. Yes. I'm sure you've thought of this before. Uh, many times. Yeah, so, <laughs> so we, we find ways to, to touch on those things that aren't perhaps trite and in, 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 in obvious. I'm going to ask you whenever you'd like to call it stop over anyone. Stop. Stop. Frankenstein. Mm -hmm. So you did not choose the Wolfman, Count Dracula, or the Invisible Man. Correct. Now I said that I would give you absolute proof that I knew which monster you would stop over, correct? Mm -hmm. How's this? X marks the spot. Wonderful. I have no idea how you did that. Action! Juliette Landau is a talented actress known for her work in such movies as Tim Burton's Ed Wood and the self-created role of the vampiric Drusilla in Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Angel. You have beautiful skin. I moisturize. That was very thoughtful of you. Your father, Martin Landau, turned in a riveting performance as Bella Lugosi in Ed Wood. Pull the string! If you could imagine a meeting between Bella Lugosi's Dracula and Drusilla, what do you think would happen? <laughs> I think they would be a fantastic duo. It would be uh, very physical. You would have Bella probably doing his sort of thing and Drew wafting around. And if it came to a, a battle of the vampires, who do you think would be left standing? I would have to put my money on Drew. I think she could hold her own with anyone because she was uh, pretty crazy and that sort of unpredictability in a battle is always a good thing. Very good point, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you, Juliet, for casting some light on the shadowy uh, figure of Drusilla, your amazing creation. Thank you so much. Goodbye. <laughs> you. And that concludes this episode of our show. Please join me again next time for another stroll down the gaslit boulevard. Where will it lead? Goth only knows. Let's spend an evil night together.